uh, the GT Ice. There goes away on the slicks. Hand cook tires on this one. The Ventus TDs on these. Craig Park is coming to take up his position as well. He'll be in the next group. No, it's good. No, the, the boys have got some serious cars here. Um, we're not on the pace, but hoping to get in the top 10. I think that's about the best we can hope for. But I um, can't believe how many millions of rands in one garage. <laughs> Serious, serious cause. But yeah, we're going to have fun. Mike McLaughlin is quicker so far in a Tires. I was doing 128s, now we're going on to semi slicks, see what happens. Looking for two more seconds. Yeah, lucky for the southwest, schooled, schooled it down a bit, schooled the track down a little bit, but anyway, now I'm trying new semi slicks out. I've never used semi slicks before, so we'll see what, uh, how they handles. Maybe I can go faster through the corners. So I've uh, got to warm them up first for three laps and then do a fasty. Des, we're here at the Desi Invitational Challenge 2015. Your thoughts on the event so far? Well, it's been a good event to this stage. The times are dropping. They're dropping all the time. The guys are into the 19s now, and I believe we're going to see 18s and even possibly a late 17. But the guys are psyched up there, as you can hear the cars in the back. The spectator support seems to be good support out there. Very, very good support. You can see the people are arriving. You can see there's more and more people. I think tomorrow's even going to be a busier day, but so far it's been a lovely day here. The weather's good and the guys are enjoying themselves. And finally, just what it means to you to be able to bring an event like this to the South Coast? I think it's very important for the drivers and for the people as well, you know, um, in the country that uh, we can have a racetrack like this right here in KwaZulu Natal down in Shepi. And I think the people do appreciate that we bring a lot of people to the South Coast. Thanks a lot, Des. Thanks a lot. Make up the top ten. So once again, McLaughlin is the man to beat.